close your eyes and find your breath. Take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths so you can know clearly where the breath is moving through the body. And then just stay right there. This is called giving rise to concentration, and then the next step is to maintain it, to let it grow. It's not that easy to feel the breath, but it's a lot harder to stay with it continually. That's what we have to work at. That's what the effort is in the meditation. Stay here, stay here, stay here, because the more continually you stay here, the more you'll see. It's like watching a movie on TV. If you just come into the room every now and then catch a little glimpse, you may have a general idea of what's going on, but you don't know the details. And many times the really important details are gone. Or like listening to a foreign language, you may decide that you understand 90% of what's being said, but maybe the 10% is totally erasing the 90% you think you know. So you have to stay there all the time. You have to understand everything if you're really going to understand anything at all. That's why you want to stay here continually, because you want to watch your own mind. The mind does all kinds of things behind your back. And it's doing it right here in the present moment, and it's very blatant about it. It's not like it's being sneaky or anything, it's just that you're off someplace else. So you've got to stay here, stay here, stay here. And it's in the staying here that you begin to see things you didn't see before. And different qualities of mind become stronger, this quality of consistency, stick to stick to itiveness, your persistence, all these things begin to grow. And they really do make a difference in the mind. If you're just flitting through on your way in and on your way out, the fact that there's a breath here doesn't make that much difference. But if you stay with the breath continually, you begin to realize that the breath really does have a huge impact on how you experience the body, how you experience the mind. And you can turn that impact to the good. But you've got to understand what's going on. That's why you have to watch continually. <laughs>